Hello and welcome to Real Magic Review where I'll be telling you what I think of releases old and new without any kind of financial incentive. Which is a bit of a bad business plan really but it makes me feel better about my life. So before we move on can you please like and subscribe to the channel it makes all the difference and share that would be lovely and the second thing is please go and check out after the video my course carbmagiccourse.com where you get in-depth video tutorials taught by a professional of all the card moves you will ever need so that's carbmagiccourse.com so this week we are reviewing something that has brought me a huge amount of enjoyment over the last week it's Andy Nyman's The Evil so created or recreated, and you'll find out why in a minute, by Andy Nyman. Now, Andy Nyman in the magic world is well known for his mentalism, uh, his products, Killer Elite Pro, Dice Man, The Hidden, uh, and of course his incredible, incredible book, Bulletproof, which is one of my favourite books. And that's why, incidentally, it absolutely breaks my heart. Because, in a, I'd love to show you. But in a, in, a, in a moment of weakness and ludicrous skintless a couple of years ago, I actually sold it because I was thinking, well, I'm not a mentalist, so I won't, even though I love it, I won't use the stuff. And man, have I regretted that. It is one of the most regretful things I've ever done. And as soon as I, I've got the money, I am going to repurchase it. It's bulletproof. It's kind of, it's beautiful. A, the book's so well written because Andy a, a, he knows his stuff. And also you've got all the props within the pages of the book. So if you are tempted to sell it, don't because you're going to regret it. But anyway... That was an aside. And he's also an actor. He's been in a string of movies, done voiceovers for like Minions, Despicable Me for years in The Commuter, but recently he starred in Ghost Stories, which is this wonderful, good old fashioned British horror film, which I really, really think you, could, you should seek out. So what is it? It's a card revelation, okay? It's, well, it's, it's a card revelation, but it's not really a card revelation. To me, the card revelation is a brilliant way of getting to where you're going. And where you're going is a spectator absolutely shitting themselves. Now, I don't mean in a kind of bleak, I'm terrified way. It's a jump scare. And like Ghost Stories, it is one of those things that is just, just makes you jump and it gives you that exhilaration. And it is so much fun to see. I'm, you'll see Andy when he releases, when he records the video of this, he's kind of laughing when he's talking about it. And it kind of makes you do that because, you know, I've, I've done this to my daughter and she, the, the reaction was brilliant. <laughs> and this is based on an old gag. I remember getting this, someone, someone gave it to me like 10 years ago where it said something like a dry scorpion and you, and you open it up and, and you, you jump. But the good thing about this is that when you do it as the old gag, you give it to someone so they kind of know it's going to be a joke. Because this is magic trick, they're expecting it to be a magic trick. So, so the jump scare is even less expected. And that's why I love it. And yes, you've got a card revelation and they're going to wonder how how that happened, but that's not going to be the thing they talk about. And that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Importantly, I was going to say uh, as part of this review that this definitely isn't a closer, but I don't know if you're like me, but sometimes when I do my closing trick, whether it's bottle through table or something, uh, one of the really big hitters, I'll finish it by saying, thanks very much, I'll show you one thing. So I'll finish it with something smaller. And I got that idea from Penn and Teller when I saw Penn and Teller's show. They did this big finale and then they finished with this lovely small thing. And sometimes I think it's nice before you leave the table, just go oh, one more thing if you feel like it's appropriate. And it's just a fun way of leaving a table or a group of people. Uh, I would be a bit careful about who who I did this on. You know, I'd have to think because I actually showed my son. <laughs> I showed my son. My, my son's like uh, eight years old, and I showed there's a bat. I kind of knew it was going to happen, but there were there were lots of tears and screaming. So be be a bit careful. <laughs> this is a brilliant release. It's listen. It's a tenor, and it's really really good fun like i said it's not about the magic effect this isn't something you're going to buy to replace your sort of big closing tricks this is something that you're going to buy to have fun and for a tenor it's an absolute bargain it doesn't take any skill you know you need a simple card for simple control and andy's videos really really goes into this and it's a pleasure to watch you know andy's someone that is obviously very comfortable on camera so you don't get that kind of awkward teaching thing it's a lot of fun. It goes through the psychology of the trick. And in incidentally, the, the, the prop has this lovely artwork around it by Graham Humphreys. Now, Graham Humphreys is a, is a very famous and legendary kind of movie poster maker. And he made the posters for like The Evil Dead, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street from Dust Till Dawn. So it's something that's been created, even though it's a small release, you know, it's, it's a modest relief for a tenor. It's something that's been created with a lot of love. And again, that's what we want, right? When we buy our magic props. So thanks for that. Like I said, please like and subscribe and also go and check out cardmagiccourse.com for everything you ever need to learn your card moves. Have a great one. Thanks very much.